Well, hello again, everybody. Welcome back to my playthrough of The Witcher 3 Hearts of Stone. Thank you so much for joining me again, and thank you so much for all of your great comments from the last episode. Thanks in part to the comments that you guys left, I was able to gather enough um, cherry cordial and mandrake cordial to make quite a bit of um, white gull. And so I just kind of spent the last hour running around uh, the world of the Witcher and getting the ingredients for white gull, getting the ingredients for these alchemy substances so that I could so that I could make oils. And you could see that um, right now the only oil that I have remaining that isn't superior is superior cursed oil. And I can't make that one because I don't have cave troll liver. I don't know where cave troll liver is. Uh, so I wasn't able to make superior cur superior cursed oil, but I was able to make all of the other oils that I've got. They're all superior. Uh, you can uh, look at my inventory here and see, if you look at our potions, uh, or uh, our oils, I mean, all of these are superior. So that's pretty cool. So thanks for telling me where to go. Uh, I found a ton of cherry cordial and uh, mandrake cordial in Skellige. Uh, I can't remember the name of the camp where I went. Um, oh man, I wish I remembered the name of it, but there was one guy there that had a ton of stuff. Uh, let's see, if you look at my uh, potions, um, not the coctions, but uh, potions. Uh, Thunderbolt I don't have up to uh, superior... Um, well, I thought I had more than that. Alchemy, there are still quite a few potions. Yeah, these three potions here I haven't been able to get up to superior because... Uh, I couldn't find any more uh, cordials, so I had to stop, and I figured spending an hour was enough. Uh, I can't do anything with these decoctions, because I'm missing things like Ancient Les Leshen, Mutagen, stuff like that. Uh, I haven't done anything with the bombs, um, so that will prob probably be what I focus on uh, the next time I, I uh, run around the world looking for cordials and such. Uh, but like I said, I finally ran out and I figured an hour was enough time. So uh, after I ran all over the place and did that, I came back here to the place where I ended the last episode. Right here where we fought that uh, griffin, I think. And I figured um, we'll go ahead and run up here and take care of this undiscovered location. And then we'll run up here to this bandit camp. I don't know why that's not showing up as a question mark. Looks like there's a question mark and a bandit camp there. So then we'll run up there and see what the heck is going on up there. That is how we're going to start this episode. Geralt is going to go for a run. I much prefer to just simply run with Geralt rather than call Roach. I find Roach rather te tedious to use, but... Um, if it's further than like 300, then yeah, I'll call Roach. Hmm, this looks like this might be a tricky place to get to now that I look at it. Whoa! <laughs> Did you hear that? Huh. And also, in the lower right-hand corner, I said we've entered Dead White Wood. So this is Dead White Wood, is it? Hmm. Okay. You say so. Um... I don't think I'm going to be able to get up here. Let me see. Nah, I'm not going to be able to get up here. Well, this is a scary sounding place. Oh, maybe I can get up here. Okay, cool. I just wanted to come up here and see if it would be a shortcut to where I want to go. And it looks like it might be... Ooh, uh, Arnskrone Castle Ruins, and there is a bunch of something heading this way, but I don't know what it is. New marker, Arnskrone Castle Ruins. Whoa, what is that thing walking around down there? Do you see that? Lower left-hand corner of the screen. Whoa. I'm going to look at the map here. Arnskrone Castle Ruins. In its glory days, this castle buzzed with life as the hub of the Romilly family's activities. Today, it is merely a dangerous ruin in the heart of a cursed wood. Whoa. Crazy. So there's a bunch of wolves down there, and there's some bizarre thing running around. I don't know what the heck it is, but there's a marker down here. Okay. Oh, crap. I don't know what this thing is. Um, ouch. What is that thing? Whoa! Oh gosh. I'm just gonna try to catch these wolves on fire. Deal with the wolves before this thing 
kills me off. Uh, that is an ancient lesion. How about that? Okay. Um, let me bring up my beast cherry here. Oh, I can't bring up my beast cherry. Sounds good. Alright. I think that, um, I uh, defeated all of the, all of the, um, wolves. Uh, now what I want to do is I want to find Ancient Leshen or Leshen in here. What is a Leshen? I mean, I went through all that trouble to make those oils. I would like to use the proper oil against a Leshen. Here we go. A Leshen is vulnerable against Dimeridium Bombs and Relic Oil. Okay, cool. And uh, also against Igni. Makes sense. He looks like he's made out of wood. So Relic Oil... And uh, Dimeridium Bombs. So let us put some Relic Oil on our sword. Let's see. I don't know what it looks like. So I have to hover over top of each of these. There it is. So I'm going to put this on my Silver Sword. That should help us some. And then Dimeridium Bomb. Let me throw that into the mix. Here we go. All right. Okay. Uh, okay, so now... All right, let's uh, bring my Quen back up here. Whoa. Oh, he moved. Darn it. I wasted that bomb. There, hit him. Okay. Now he he's not going to be able to do any magic, I don't think. Holy cow, I'm not doing any damage to this thing. Yikes. Oh, doggone it. Now I gotta fix my sword. Hold on. Let me fix my silver sword. Bring up my... Uh... My weapon repair kit. Take care of that real quick. I still have some more slots on here where I could put more stuff on it, but, um... I have to figure out what's more, what stuff to put on there later. Alright, ancient lesson. I don't care how old you are. Boy, I'm not doing much damage to him at all. What do you mean I can't do that now? What the, can I do my Quinn? What the heck? Oh, he's he's got damage. Look at him. What's he da what's damaging him? Alright. Boy, this guy is looking like a man of the butt. Bring my Quinn back up. Let's give him a good Igni. Hey, take that. Oh man, look how much damage he's doing to him. Go back to Quinn. Boy, the Igni was a thing to do to him, man. Do you see how much damage it did to him? That really, really did a lot of damage to him. Hope he summoned some wolves, it would look like. Hopefully they'll be dead here soon. Because he's still burning. <laughs> yeah, let's see if we can burn these wolves. Oh, he's not dead yet. I always feel bad killing these wolves. They sound like dogs. I like dogs. I don't want to hear dogs whining. Hey, 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 hey. How do you like that silver? How do you like that silver? He's pretty tough to fight. Oh, he's gonna come right on me. Quint it up. Switch back to Igni. Whoa. Where is he? He's over here. Oh, he died. <laughs> He's like, man, I'm tired. I'm going to lay down. <laughs> Look at my mini-map. Look at all the dead things to loot. Well, hardened timber, monster bone, leshen. Look at this. Ancient leshen mutagen. Can you believe that? <laughs> uh, now that I have that, there's a deco decoction I can make, I think. Uh, ancient leshen decoction. Uh, now that I have the ancient Leshen mutagen, but I need some honeysuckle. So I have to remember to get some honeysuckle next time I visit a, um, an herbalist. Uh, this decoction, each sign cast, increases stamina regeneration for the remainder of the fight. Cool. Okay. All right. Honeysuckle. I need honeysuckle. I'm not going to go out of my way to get it right now, but hopefully the next time I visit a, um, herbalist, I remember to get that. 
Well, let's go ahead and help ourselves to all this stuff from these dogs. I mean, we might as well. You know, I mean, it would be disrespectful to just leave these dogs here without taking what they've given. Alright, so there is a, what was it, a hidden treasure here? Is that what I'm looking for? Yeah, probably up here in what remains of this castle. I guess. The heck made that noise? Did you hear that? This place is creepy, man. Oh my gosh, look on my mini-map. Still more stuff to fight. Oh boy. So I guess this guarded treasure or whatever is going to be up here. Yeesh. Clean it up in preparation of the hell that's going to face us up here. That's more, um, wolves. It'd be cool if it was just more wolves. Oh, man. Stab that wolf. Oh, these are wargs. Alright, he's down. You're next. Hey. Hey. Holy cow, he's doing a lot of damage to me. Yikes. Better take these guys seriously. I wasn't at all. Man. Man, where'd you come from? Holy cow, these things are hard to kill. Sheesh. Man, everything is deadly in Hearts of Stone. Gee whiz. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay. Um. So where is this hidden treasure or something I'm looking for around here? Ooh, look at this. Look at this. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Holy cow, what's going on down here? Let us uh, uh, take a cat potion so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Cat. Huh, I thought I knew what cat looked like. Guess I don't. What the heck does cat look like? Hold on, let me find cat. There it is. Alright, take a cat push and we can see what the heck's going on down here. There's a door here. Aha. This looks interesting. I guess I'm going to have to ard this. Boom. What's going on in here? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Three wraiths. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I've got something to fight wraiths, right? Uh, go to our oils, and what am I gonna do? Is it specter oil that I want for these things? I believe. Let me make sure, I'd hate to um, put the wrong oil on there. So, specters, wraiths, Moon dust bombs and specter oil. So we're gonna put some specter oil on our sword here. Good grief, where is it? There we go. Specter oil. Put that on there. Alright. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Throw down an ear. I'm gonna take this rape out. There's one dead. You're next. Oh man, beating on the rape. Who's next? I know there was another one back there. Got a wraith mutagen. Another wraith mutagen. Come here, wraith. You're not gonna come out here, are you? Fine, I'll fight you in here. See what I care. Come on. Where are you, wraith? Oh, now you're in there. Pick up your mind. Ouch. All right. Shut up, Wraith. Take a little bit of food. What's that symbol there? Oh, I guess that's part of my Eardin. <laughs> uh, loot. 
Loot. What have we come here for? Here to find something. Here's a piece of paper. Ransom letter. Let's look at that. To the Right Honorable Raphael von Burman, Lord of Zutzer Castle. We wish to reassure you, my dear sir, that your daughter is in the flower of good health. She will continue to enjoy said health, provided her father acts according to our instructions. They are as follows. In six days, at the exact stroke of midnight, you, sir, are to present yourself in person outside the cursed chapel near Brunwich in order to hand over a ransom in the amount of 1,000 unshaven Novigrad coins. You are to sound no alarm and come alone with no guards or retainers of any sort. I trust we needn't add that any failure to follow these instructions will result in an immediate and proportionate decline in the young and beautiful Lady Borman's health. My best wishes to you, sir. Oh my. Well, this isn't good. No, sir. That's not good at all. There sure isn't a whole lot of stuff to loot down here. There's a skeleton there. Uh, I guess my cat wore off. Sure didn't last very long. Put cat back on again, man. Cats. See, I don't have superior cat, unfortunately. I'll get it eventually. Um. Oh, well, here's a chest. This bit was locked. That was weird. Did you see it just for a split second there? It showed up locked. Huh. I'm a little disturbed by what's going on down here. I'm going to go back through here. And go through this door over here. What's going on in here? Yep, there's something to loot there. Ballads and Hymns, a book I've already read. There's another note over here. Check this out. Count Romilly's Journal, Part 1. Entries in chronological order. Last few pages missing, torn out. This craft has proved even more profitable than I had anticipated. Ugh. Five of the last seven kidnappings ended in success. Only two of the lads had fathers too miserly to ransom their sons. Clearly was more offspring where those came from, so the calculating knaves deemed the captured snots expendable. Note for the future, demand a significantly smaller ransom from clients with more than one male heir. <laughs> I sent the lads after Anastasia von Burman. The lord of Zitzer Castle is a magnificently wealthy noble, and Anastasia is his only child. I smell a lucrative transaction. The lads returned with the client's daughter that very night. The girl is calm, apathetic even. Something strange is afoot in the castle's surroundings. Flocks of ravens perch in the trees bordering the courtyard. This morning a new contingent flew in. Two serving maids have gone missing. Could my lads have been responsible? Or did those ravens peck them to death? Here a giant ink blot covers half the page. One of my grooms has died. From what the remaining servants recount, he was killed by tree roots that suddenly thrust straight out of the ground. My men are petrified. Wolves howl day and night in the lands surrounding the estate. Leaving the castle walls means certain death. We have barricaded ourselves inside and live as if under siege. Luckily, we have ample supplies of food and water. Perhaps this is some kind of curse? Franz, the servant who led the unit that kidnapped Anastasia, Anastasia has hanged himself. Black magic is surely at work. I must search the castle library for some indication what this might be. Hmm, interesting. Well, let's keep uh, searching for stuff in here. Here's a chest. Okay, The Opposition of Nilfgaard, another book I've already read. Um, huh. That's it? Nothing else? Get a little bit of light in here. See what we're doing.
Oh yeah. Light all these. Let's make this place nice and cozy. Oh yeah, another light. <laughs> there, now that I've done all that, I'm gonna leave the room. <laughs> huh. Well, um, I thought we were here. What's the what does the map say? The map says that this is a hidden treasure. Well, we haven't found it yet. Light that thing up. Light that thing up. Yeah, let's just get all the lights going in here. Another one over here. You would think that this treasure we're looking for is down here somewhere, right? Okay, my cat wore off. But we got some lights lit. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's any... Okay, maybe there's one right here. Alright, that helps. So something... Huh. Well, I mean, there's a chest there, but I can't do anything with it. I mean, it makes me wonder if that's the chest I'm supposed to loot, but I'm missing something. Huh. What is going on? Is there a room that I can't get into? What is this? Um. Hmm. I don't know, man. Something. Something's weird about this place. I can't quite put my finger on it. Yeah, I guess, uh... Yeah, I guess that's every room. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Alright. Well, there's nothing... It's not like I'm missing anything. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go back up. And see if we missed anything up there. Huh. So... Where is this treasure? Is it down here? Big beautiful tree there. Ah, here we go. Loot. Count Romilly's Journal Part 2 and a Tarnished Key. Alright. Last pages torn from Count Romilly's Journal. A pox upon Anastasia von Bormann. A pox upon her whole plowing house. I finally found a way to end this deadly little charade she's put on. The key to unraveling the riddle lay in a dusty old tome in my library. That little vipress was marked by a lesion. That is why the monster attacked my castle. There was only one way out of this situation. I snuck up while she slept and throttled her. Whoa, <laughs> that gave me chills. Whoa, that was perfect timing for that sound effect. She didn't even manage to peep. Now I can finally leave my castle walls, thanks, thank the gods. The monstrosity has skirted off into oblivion along with that accursed child. That entire affair was a horrific error. I'm just glad the savings from previous missions are safely preserved in the castle treasury. I must recruit some mage. Perhaps that will ensure I avoid such incidents in the future. Okay. Oh, this is a new quest. Alright. Search the ruins of Count Romilly's castle. Huh. Well, I feel like we've already done this. Yeah, we read his notes. Search the ruins. Well, this is a level 38, but what do we care? Despite numerous warnings, Geralt ventured deep into Dead White Wood, where he found the ruins of Castle Arnscrone. There, he fought a tough battle against an ancient Leshen and found the earthly remains of Walter Romilly and with them the eccentric Count's journal. Part of the Count's journal described his foul treatment of Anastasia von Bormann, who he believed to have been marked by a Leshen. It also made mention of coins stashed somewhere beneath 
the castle. Okay, well, now we're going to go back into the castle. Because now we have a key. And we should be able to open that box. And I think that's worth the run back in here. Look at that. It's like a leshen head right there. Alright, down back into the castle we go. Go through here. Around the corner here. And... Oh, come on. Oh. What? Oh. Well. Ah, oh, man. I have a feeling that this key that I've got is supposed to open that box, but... For whatever reason, I can't open it. Aw, oh, man. Hmm. Well, shoot. Key. Tarnished key. Item needed to complete a quest. Hmm. Well, I don't know what else that key would go to. Um, although, it's kind of pointing me in this direction, isn't it? No, it's just saying nearby. Doggone it. Hmm. No. Well, it's looking to me like I'm a big dumb moron and there's a big chest here. <laughs> Alright, I did it. <laughs> Ooh, I thought for sure that the thing was broken. Uh, leather scraps, nails, Bellhaven, Brigandine, Maribor, Sword, Phosphorus, Cured Leather, and Leather, and four Florins. Ooh, four Florins. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, another thing I did when I was running around the countryside looking for uh, cherry cordials and such is I stopped by uh, Vimy Vivaldi, I think his name is, in uh, Novigrad, and I exchanged my Florins for uh, uh, something. I don't know. I, I, I exchanged my coins, and I got quite a few coins, so... That was pretty cool. So I finally remembered to do that. I didn't notice before, but you see the wavy effect on the ground there? There must be gas in here. But uh, it's weird that these torches aren't doing anything with it. Yeah, look at that. No, no. Oh, I don't know why it's so wavy looking. I don't know. Oh, maybe it's just a little bit of water on the ground. That's what it is. Alright, well, um... Well, we completed that little quest. That was fun. Uh... You know how I am. I always want to see the final text for it. Uh... This was a... Gosh. It was a treasure... Was it a considered, considered a treasure hunt? I don't know. Yeah, Secret Life of Count Romilly. Deep within the castle's subterranean passages, Geralt uncovered Count Romilly's dark secret and the source of his wealth. The bleak ruins also contained treasure, which the Witcher found and kept. Really wasn't that much treasure. Okay. Uh, now, let us bring up our map again. And like I said, after here, I wanted to run up here. Uh, to take this place out, out, I guess. So, let's go ahead and call Roach. See if Roach can give us a ride. And as usual, Roach is in a ridiculously inconvenient location. Look, he's on the other side of the castle walls. <laughs> Jeez. Look at him. Look at him on my mini-map. <laughs> Roach. Gosh, man. Oh, can't go through there. That's not a door. This is interesting. Huh. Look at this. Can't get to Roach. <laughs> Good grief. And that is why I never use Roach. So we'll just run over here. Whee! You'll be alright, Geralt. I'm gonna hit an F5 here. Uh, just in case I fall off a ledge. 
This is a pretty scary place, this dead white wood. Not very inviting, that's for sure. Uh, thankfully, we haven't run into anything else that's making scary sounds. But that may change quickly. Music just changed. Alright, so... Kilkarin Ruins is where we are. Anything to loot here? No? Aw, oh, man. I wanted to loot that. I was in the mood to do some looting. Huh. Well, there's the um, bandits over there. Look at those ding-dongs. Oh, there's a... Oh, there's a bunch. Ouch. There's a bunch of them. All right. Um, Boys, jump, Geralt! Oh, I can't... Ah, can't jump over that. Oh! Move, Geralt! Damn! Holy hell, Geralt. Move. Wow. Freaking annoying. New marker. Kill, kill Curran Ruins. Well, let's take a minute and read about Kill Curran Ruins. You know I like to learn about things. It is difficult to believe this abandoned pile of debris in the middle of a forest is the famed Kilkarin Palace, which, according to legend, once housed the renowned artist Gian Lorenzo's workshop. His sculptures now command exorbitant prices at auction, making Kilkarin a frequent target for plunderers seeking treasure. Yeah, stupid plunderers. Well, let's put a little bit of Hangman's Venom on our uh, sword so that we could do as much painful damage as possible. Um, as far as potions go, I guess I should be maybe taking a uh, swallow for um, regeneration, right? Is it no, is it swallow or... This is going to be vitality regeneration. But what I really want is stamina regeneration. Which one gives me that? I thought there was one that did that, but I don't remember what it's called. Hmm. Tawny Owl, that's it. I'm gonna throw some Tawny Owl over here. Now let's go ahead and take one. Actually, yeah, let's take one of these. Tawny Owl is my tiki. Alright. Okay. There. Let's, um,. Oh, there's somebody this way, too. Who's over here? Who's this? Oh, a boar. And I didn't get him. Uh-oh, here comes another one. Is there another one coming? Yep, here comes another one. Right? Oh, he got me. Listen how loud these things are. <laughs> Dinner's ready. Cast, Geralt, what are you doing? I guess I'm pressing the wrong the button. And I got neither one of them. Good job, Geralt. Man, I'm doing terrible. Uh, that is not what I meant to do. Keep pressing the wrong key. Oh, good lord, I didn't catch him on fire. All right. Holy hell! How many of these are there? I didn't know I was going to have to fight a family of boars. Boar pelt. Meat and boar pelt. Oh, that sucked, man. That's crazy. Alright, I need to go over here and take these guys out. Especially these jerks with the um, bows. Crossbows. Let me try to sneak around behind them here. Oh, yeah. Great pleasure in taking you jerks out. Oh, man. Again, I hit the wrong button. I got my keys mapped crappily, I guess. Oh, you son of a... Boy, I tell you, the sound effect and the effect on Geralt when that happens is very effective because it is freaking annoying, man. Those... Those things hitch. Oh my god! 
I'm gonna freaking die out here. How did he hit me? Oh my god, I'm gonna freaking die out here. I better take a swallow potion. Holy hell, those guys are hitting hard. Jeez. You jerks. Alright, better back off. Get out of the way of the bow, bow shooters. Oh, you jerk, die. He's down. Oh, here comes another bow guy. Oh. Get my Quinn back up. I'm gonna save him for last. Those guys are a pain in the butt to fight. Need a little bit more food. Oh, you're next, jerk. Oh gosh, there's a ton of them. Alright, let's back out of the way here. Yeah, get him. Oh, somebody hit me with a bow or something, maybe. Or an air. I keep saying bow. A bolt. Yeah, great satisfaction. Your next jerk. Alright, now for you, I gotta ard him. Okay, art him again. And he's down. Well, those guys were a pain in the butt, but at least they didn't kill me. Yeesh. Loot him. Loot him. I'm taking it all, man. We'll sell it. Master... See, that says Ehrlich. Sometimes he's Ehrlich and sometimes he's Ulrich. I'm assuming it's the same person. To Antoine Feel, clear the elven ruins of all valuable artifacts. Once that's done, put fire to that rubbish heap and burn it to the ground. Regarding your question about the elven manuscripts you discovered, hand over the diagram during the next change of patrols. Our armorsmith will set about deciphering it. It was part of another quest, one that we've already completed. I think we did anyway. Whew. Great satisfaction taking all those jerks out, man. Sheesh. Alright, so this is a bandit camp. So there's probably something to loot here. Here we go. Elegant letter. Diagram serum, resin, thread, boots, fat, hide. Let's read the elegant letter. To be delivered personally to the hands of the Honorable Knight Sir Antoine Feel. Our unusual partnership has brought me enormous pleasure. I trust Sir Knight finds himself in good health. I have cataloged the last shipment of elven sculptures and sold the entire lot at once. As per our agreement, find attached the bill of accounts for our most recent transactions. Sculpture, Gian Lorenzo, the Rape of Ellarina, Buyer Kurt Dysart, 300 Novigrad Crowns minus 35% transaction fee. Sculpture, Vaticelli, Phoebus and Daphne, Buyer Kurt Dysart. That name's familiar. I, th I think we may have met Kurt Dysart earlier in the game. 430 Novigrad Crowns minus 35% transaction fee. Sculpture, Gian Lorenzo, the Ecstasy of Gvalchi the Bloody. Buyer, Rudolf de Jonquier. I remember him too. 550 Novigrad crowns minus fee. Sadly, I was unable to finalize the sale of Pietas by Mikkel Engelak to Brandon and Company, Inc. The company sued for a deferment of the sale due to some claimed financial difficulties. Rumors around town claim the firm's senior partner was robbed in broad daylight by some white-haired witcher. But for obvious reasons, I did not agree to prolong the payment period. A messenger with the earnings will present himself at the agreed-upon spot. I impatiently await the next transport. Yaramir E. Carstairs. Well, I don't remember this story about Brandon and company. I don't know, I'm not sure I remember 
robbing someone in broad daylight, but hey, there you go. Alright, let's finish looting this camp. Might as well. Went through all the trouble to clear it out. If there's anything else here that we want. There's a ladder over here. We could go see where it goes. Oh. Alright, Carol. Chill out. Oh, there's a chest up here. Got some cool stuff in it. So somebody in the comments told me that... Uh, so, you know, I, I was complaining a lot <laughs> about um, how Geralt's a wuss, and if he just falls a short distance, he dies. Well, somebody in the comments reminded me that if I press the space bar, uh, when I, right as I'm hitting the ground, Geralt will roll, and therefore won't uh, take damage, or at least won't take as much damage. And that seems to have made all the difference, so thank you for uh, pointing that out to me. Okay. Um... Somewhere around here is a travel marker. I think it's this way. Oh, oh come on. I can't get through there? <laughs> I guess not. How do I get out of here? Oh, nice. Geralt mantled. How about that? Ooh, here's something. Anything I can loot in here? No? Really? Oh, that's lame. Alright. Where's this freaking marker? I know there's one around here. There we go. Here's the marker. Oh, oh. Puffball. Gotta have it. Alright. Well, before I go to the fast travel point, let's bring up the map and see if there's anything else nearby. Uh, there's not really, is there? No undiscovered locations around here that I want to investigate. Um, what if we traveled back to Heddle and went down to here? I'm surprised at how much story we're finding at these undiscovered locations. Seems like every fourth or fifth one has some kind of story involved with it. It's kind of cool. Really makes it worthwhile to um, check these things out. Should I go to Heddle or the Abandoned Manor? Huh. There's no road that leads up to this. I bet you this is on top of a tall mountain. It's probably some kind of griffin or some kind of draconid. Let's go here. I don't remember this place as Abandoned Manor. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I do remember this place. This is a place I visited pretty late in my playthrough, I believe. But we are going to try to make our way up here. So let's give this a shot. Let's see if we can figure out what is to be discovered up here. Whee! We're going down instead of up. Uh-oh. There's stuff beneath us here. Wargs, really? Holy cow, look how many of them. Wolf. I mean, I guess I didn't have to fight him, but there's just so many of them. Alright. Oh, my sword again. Jeez. This is my steel weapon I need to repair this time. Weapon repair kit. Yes, yes, yes. Well, let's just go ahead and get all the meat and stuff from these guys. I guess. One more. Alright. Resume our track over here. To wherever it is we're going. Oh, I saw something run by. What the heck is that? Did you see that? What in the world was that? 
kind of spooky looking. New marker guarded treasure. Well, I'll be doggone. Look what it is. It's another freaking lesson. Well, uh... Oh, man. I'm out of dimeridium bombs. Oh, well. Um, so he didn't care for Igni. And we want to put some relic oil on our sword. Although, I think there's still relic oil on it. Uh, nope. It has specter oil on it. I think we want relic oil, right? Which one is Relict Oil? <laughs> I swear, man, it's like always one of the last ones I look at. Okay. Quinn. Got my Igni ready. We're gonna go pay this guy a visit. Hey, guy. Haha, <laughs> you're on fire. Whoa. Look, he's on fire. You can't even see him, but you can see the fire. How cool is that? That was pretty neat. Didn't do much damage to him. Oh man, we're pummeling him. Did a lot of damage with those hits. Look at him, man. That's the stuff of freaking nightmares. Look at that. That is giving me the chills. That was so cool looking. Wow. He's down. Huh. <laughs> oh, damn it. Holy hell. Oh my god. Freaking swarm of wolves, man. They didn't like that I killed their master, I guess. Damn. I was like, no, I don't want to die to these wolves after beating that Leshen. That would have been terrible. And... This was the Leshen here. Now let that be a Leshen to you. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. This is probably the chest that I want to loot. Runestone, glyph, dust, wolf hide, a sword, and some gauntlets. Alright. Well, look at this big beautiful tree, man. Look at this thing. It's huge. Huge and beautiful. Alright, Geralt. Yeah. Oh, look how it's swaying. That's neat. This is a pretty game. Look at these big, beautiful trees, man. I love trees. Trees are great. They're awesome. Well, got our map here. And um, there is another question mark way down here that we could go to. Let's uh, let's give old Roach a call. Hey, Roach. Let's, let's go for a ride, Roachy boy. Let's go. Roachy girl. And uh, we'll see what this question mark is down here. Beautiful day for a ride. Oh, we just passed up something, but I'm going to leave it alone. Look out! <laughs> nice move. Nice move, Roach. Alright, so we're getting pretty close. I'm going to dismount here, and I'm going to meditate because I want to get my potions and stuff back. So we're going to do a quick meditate. I'm going to meditate till morning. I think it gets light at like 3 a.m. here. Okay. Alright, meditated, got everything back. We are going to, uh, ooh, person in distress. Deserters. I'm not even going to bother putting any oil on my sword. These guys should be really easy to kill. Level 9s. Yeah. If only they could all be that easy to kill. Oh, you're going to shoot me with a bow? No, you're not. Let's try again. Yeah, how come I don't get as many, very many action shots like that? That's awesome. He's just got a long sword on him. A simple cage key. Oh, okay, that's gonna let this guy go free. Right? I thought I killed more than three of them. Well, let's go help this person in distress. I see something else to loot? I'll be with you in a moment, sir. I need to loot some stuff first. Oh, here's a note. Bandit's notes. 
They say you can't catch an elf in the woods. Oh, you can, in fact. You just gotta try real hard. We've got living proof in our camp. A Scoyatel archer. I thought we'd eliminated all those vermin after the last Nilfgaard war, but it seems we missed some. I'd rather hang the long ears right off. Well, maybe after a couple of days of torture, but still, hanging's what he needs. Thing is, Kula says as long as we have him alive and in our camp, the other squirrels won't attack us, out of fear we'll kill him before they can stop us. I listened to his advice, and so far I don't regret it. Used to be an arrow would come flying towards your arse every two steps, now it's dead quiet. That elf stays calm, doesn't eat much, and when you get some vodka in him, he even sings in that language of theirs. Pretty good, too. Uh, blood wine, Aspir Eveline, or something like that. Must be about flowers, sunshine. They love that shite. <laughs> I wonder what this really says. Probably kill all humans or something. Let's go help this guy. Oh, whoop, wait, hold on, I gotta loot this first. Hey, dude, what's up? Do you even think to help elves in these times? I'd be amiss not to reward you back then. Find me in the camp nearby. I shall have something for you. Huh, okay. Find him in the camp nearby. There's a nearby camp, eh? Well, I mean, we opened it for him. There you go. Hey, he's a merchant. Hey, merchant. Do you even think to help elves oh, okay. in these times? I'd be amiss not to reward you back then. Find me in the camp nearby. So he says, find him in the camp nearby. Uh... Oh gosh, I have no idea what camp he's talking about. And he's just kind of walking in this direction. Where the heck is he going? I mean, he could be going all the way down here. Where'd he go? There he goes. I mean, I could follow him. <laughs> But that's not really what I'm supposed to do. But if I don't follow him, I don't know where the heck he's going to go. And I want whatever it is he wants to give me. I don't know, maybe something will show up on the map later. Do you even think to help elves in these times? I'd be amiss not to reward them. Climb in the camp near So he's walking... ...in this direction. That's interesting. I'm wondering why I never went here in my previous playthrough. Hmm. Kind of surprising. Or maybe I did, that's a new question mark, I don't know. I don't know. Well, there he goes. No idea where he's going or when he'll get there. But he's eventually going to run out of land to walk on. Man, he's moving too. He's pretty quick. Look at him go. Oh, I'm dying to know where the heck he's going, man. I'm dying to know, man. Let's see if we run ahead of him. Oh, here's a little crossroads, maybe. A little road. If we look at our map. Yeah, runs through here. <laughs> Where the hell is he going, man? There he is. Look at him. He's moving. Look at him go. Where are you going, dude? Still moving. Well, okay. Wow, he walked to the road. And now he's walking on the road. I don't know. I'm just amazed at the pathfinding is all. Maybe I'm easily impressed. So now he's walking along this road. Ah, it's probably going to be back here, right? Would you think? That's where he's probably going. So whatever's at the end of this road. I wonder if I'll break the game if I get there before him. Let's go see what's at the end of this road. I'm really curious to know. I hope you're curious too. I don't feel like I'm wasting your time or anything. Well. We'll get there eventually. A long 
trek requires oh. a fellowship. Ought to cobble one together. A long trek requires a fellowship. Ought to coddle, cobble one together. So, it's just the end of the world here. And, um, there's no camp, so... We've been bamboozled. <laughs> nah, I don't think we've been bamboozled. He's going somewhere. But... I don't know where that somewhere is. And I wonder if we're going to cross paths with him now as we run back. Still on the road here. I'm not seeing him. It's like a fence or something here. Oh, look at this. What the hell? Squirtle camp. Well, I guess this is it. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. There's a camp here, all right. <laughs> okay. Well, this... This has to be what he's talking about because he is a Scoyotel. And I believe that's him. Well, maybe not. Excuse me? So this has to be the camp that he was going to. Uh, I guess he hasn't arrived yet. Can we talk to him? I'll talk to her. She has nothing to say. You got nothing to say to me? Look at this guy. Dwarf here. Greetings. 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 Greetings indeed. He's making all that noise. Here's the merchant. Okay. <laughs> what are you offering, dude? Show me what you're willing to sell. <laughs> he gave us 50 crowns. Well, he's got a book here. Laura Doran and Craganon of Lod. No, I don't think I have that book. I don't want five of them. Uh, and then he's got uh, some oil. A lot of people sell oil, I've noticed. Alright, well. Don't think I want anything else he's got, but I wonder if he wants to buy what I've got. Although I really should sell this stuff to... Um, like, I should sell this stuff to a... Uh, <sighs> weapons guy, right? A blacksmith, is that the word I'm trying to think of? Sheesh. Probably. All right, dude. Love you. Cool, man. Well, that was kind of interesting. Huh. Rescued that guy and then uh, oh. found this camp. Oh, hey, look, a note. Scoyotel notes. Let's read it. Dwan have captured Serbin. They keep him on a leash like a dog. Two bandits guard him constantly, so I cannot attack or else they might hurt him. And I have no intention of negotiating with Duan. Duan? I think that's how they pronounce it. But Serban has a good head on his shoulders. The Duan force him to drink alcohol, make him sing. He then insults them, or calls out to us in elder speech. His voice carries over the swamps, so we hear every word. We know these humans' routine. We know when they change watches, what weapons they have. I take note of it all. When I know enough, I shall strike, quickly, when they are not expecting, and where it will hurt the most. <laughs> this is awesome. Man, the real, the regular game wasn't quite like this. There's so many stories. Huh. I wonder if they care if I loot their stuff. Uh, okay, I didn't say anything. I'll take that as more payment for rescuing you. I risked my life. Level oh, 9 yes. deserters. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'm going to end my play session here. When we come back next time, what will we do? Well, ah, there is another question mark right here. So, since we're pretty far away from a fast travel point, we will probably go ahead and run up to this question mark. And then, I guess we'll run up here to this this. I guess we'll run back, really, to Novigrad and uh, perhaps uh, go back into the sewers and meet it with Shani again. That's probably what we'll do next time, so we have that to look forward to.
Well, thanks so much for joining me on this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, won't you let me know by leaving a like or a comment. Again, thank you guys so much for the comments you leave. You're really helping me out with this playthrough of Hearts of Stone. I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I sure do hope you join me again in the next episode.